Radiant Team back. Dire Team back. Radiant Team back. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Welcome to some glorious Dota 2 action on the Pro Dota Cup SEA number 13. I am your caster, a person who's about to sneeze, and so on, so There we go, I called the sneeze. I called it, guys. I'm good at this. I'm getting better at it now. I'm your caster, Party Petey, here to cast you this glorious series of the day. Sterling Global Dragons versus TNC Tigers. Game number two with the game number one going to the wave TNC Tigers PA. Just cleaving through, bashing, as well as the fact that Magnus exists in the world of Dota 2. TNC Tigers will take game number one. That uh it was close though. Sterling Global Dragons almost coming around with the uh the Aghanim Scepter Wraith King damage build. But uh, those Yules coming into play at the end of the game there did make a big difference. So, Welcome to game number two, though, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to game number two. The first ban will be the Beastmaster. Windy. Dark Willow banned out. They didn't want to deal with that again. Enchantress, same thing. They didn't want to deal with the chance that Enchantress was going to return. Marana still okay damage. And yet again, the TNC-specific Omni Knight ban making it into play as well following that though will be as soon as i saw it the tree protector was picked up and i had a big glow in my eyes and then immediately afterwards enigma got picked up and uh if you have been watching any of my casts or any of the times that i was adminning within the twitch chat you would know that i am a huge fan of the existence of enigma so Enigma got picked up, Crystal Maiden, the strong <laughs> the strong position 5 gonna be picked up as well, and Tiny will be the follow-up pick up there, so still get to see that Tiny pick up though, the Tree and Tiny Wombo combo is actually insane, trust, trust me, it, it is, it sounds like there isn't, trust me, it is. First ban in the second phase though is gonna be the Life Stealer, so they don't want any the strong durability interrupting damage coming out they do have the uh, the uh, tusk ban being as well so it's a really nice position for being banned out there it's a really good one that runs with enigma who doesn't have a blink dagger early bloodseeker and zeus will be the respond pickup 10 seconds yeah. remaining 5 seconds remaining. I forgot to do my uh, my other intro and stuff like that in case this is the end of the series so I'm coming to you live from California. It is uh, 12, it is 1.30 in the morning. So uh, for some of you, you guys might just be uh, sitting in the... You guys might just be sitting in the... Uh... 10 seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Oh, 
can't believe what we're seeing! What just happened? Anyway, I get to see Ten all these wonderful Dota in uh, 1 30 in the morning, so. Five seconds remaining. Mm, this Krabby Patty coming to you. <laughs> this Krabby Patty coming to you live. No, I'm not going to get drunk, guys. I don't even have any beer near me. My fridge is very far away from my uh, casting vault. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome still to game number two. We'll have the Kunka. will be the following pickup for the second phase. Necrophos will be the response. Ancient Apparition, a very nice counter to Necrophos, will also be the pickup there. I love it a lot, and I think it'll do the trick this game. You, you want to know why I think this game will do the trick? Enigma exists. So... Yeah, I'm ready for this game. I am ready for this game. Forty seconds left in Sterling Global Dragons reserve time. They are gonna let's see what do they need. So this is the mid necro, the e... someone say saw uh, safe lane tiny, the four tree. No, it's not a mid necro. Okay, so it's the off lane necro, the mid storm spirits. The, uh... Actually, you know what? I think they might run Storm Spirit in the aggro to pair up with the fact that they'll put the Kunkka somewhere else. Though I've never seen a safe Kunkka do go good. Though it might be the aggro offlane Kunkka with the safe lane Enigma swap out. They ban the Lich. Okay. That's that's interesting. Oh yeah, no, my intro, just in case this is the last game. So yeah, I'm coming to you live from 1.30 in the morning. Uh, for some of you, you might just be watching Dota waking up. For some of you, you could be butt naked, just sitting in your in your bed, just watching TV. You're watching TV, watching Dota. And so on and so forth. Uh, for those of you who are those, uh, please don't be aroused by my voice. Trust me, it's it's not that arousing. <laughs> please don't. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Anyway, so I think this might be a aggro storm spirits, or I want I want to think the aggro. It is a disaster indeed. Faceless Void is actually a really nice band though. They pick up the Rubik, so it's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. They could steal that black hole. It's an okay position five or position four, because uh, the tree is probably going to be five for this game. So I'd love to see a four tree, but uh, how are we gonna read this? The mid necro safe tiny. Five seconds. No, safe storm off necro. Safe. Wait, why did I say that? Safe tiny off necro storm spirit mid. Heroes. AM will be the last pick for TNC Tigers. So they're going to fight the uh, the three mana based heroes in Dota 2 and then uh, Yanwell and Tiny. You know, they'll have a small mana pool, but a good enough one. This is a nice. This is Zephyr. Zephyr was the Dark Willow, so this is a support Kunka. No. What is going on here? This isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't right.
<laughs> oh man, you guys are weird. Surprised you guys actually decided to respond to that. Anyway, welcome to game number two, ladies and gentlemen, TNC versus SGD. There is the immediate beginning game pause. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you the very two things I say every time we start the game. As always, I will tell you that I'm an NA caster over on the wonderful side of California. It is bright and early in the morning, and when I say bright and early, it is not exactly bright, but it is very much early. It is uh, it is 1.37, so... Anyways, as always, I want to tell you that I am an NA caster on the C servers, so it does say I have 200 ping, but that really shouldn't attribute to anything. The thing that is really going to happen here is that uh, my ISP says that my internet is fixed. But it's totally not fixed, so... If there is a period in time, which it could and may happen, this, uh... This, uh, this casting night tonight, it could happen. Um... I will type in chat and say that it's exactly what's happening. So, just, uh, when I lag, I will type it in chat and you will know. And, uh, if not, then, uh, that's good, because I didn't, I didn't lag last time, so maybe they finally fixed it. So, let's go ahead and jump into the game, though. We do have SGD on the side of the Radiant yet again. It will be Shanks, beyond the Rubik Storm Spirit. By Naj, no, he's not using the new Storm Spirit head. I thought he had a high enough battle pass. He does not. What a nerd. What a nerd. Mid AM. It is mid AM. Necrophos. Be played by Tina. Tino. Sorry, not Tina. Tiny. Be played by Luciano. And. Treant Protector by Yan Well. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the side of the dart, we will have a TNC. TNC Dynamite. No, that's the wrong thing. Four five eight. Be played by Enigma. Okay, guys, I gotta break out the uh, the chat that you guys don't want me to do here. There we go. That's what, happens when I rush. That's what happens when I rush. Okay. Just having fun here. I really hate this so much. <laughs> 458 will be the Enigma. In your dreams will be the mid anti -mage. Ancient Apparition going to be played by Bryant Kunka. It's going to be played by, uh... It's going to be played by Zephyr. And Crystal Maiden. BKYXY. I hate you guys so much. Why do you use these all the time? Why do you guys use these all the time? Alright, well. 
Let's smash this metal keyboard a bunch as we just flash between characters. Metal keyboard away. Look at that indeed. Let's figure out. So there's definitely no gems in this Rubik, so we'll just look at the items. They are definitely watching the stream and they know I don't like this. These are the only guys that actually do this, by the way. Oh yeah, this is the new Necro one. With the, uh, the Scythe of Twin Deaths. Do I have that Scythe on? Do I have that scythe on? What do I have on my necro? Necro. Oh right, my necro is the one that I spent too much money on. <laughs> don't, 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 don't care. I don't care. Empire Games kills. Kills. Wow. Look at that. It's only had 19 kills ever since the don't mute me. I am not high, nor am I drunk. You're muting me because of the, the all chats, isn't it? I don't know why we're still sitting here waiting. Okay, tree, what do you got, my friend? You have a boatload of nothing. Enigma. It's got the cool Enigma taunt. Ah, trying to type chat. Okay, let's go into it then. Look at that, here's our current gold. Here's our net worth. After smashing all the buttons, the wrong buttons and stuff. That's cold, current gold, by the way. Where's my last hits? There it is. Alright, looks like we're finally done with all of the chats. So, the game's finally started. No, stop it! I... Oh. God, you guys are not fun. Why do you do this to me? Okay, do we have the taunt on Kunka? He does. Yes. This is uh, almost like the AM that I have, except uh, my AM is one more item more beautiful. Looks like it is a double dual lane mid, at least for the time being. Shanks is still here, TP out from tree onto the bot. The world is silent. Clicks away out on the Zephyr, but he is fine. No vision wars available here. Enigma will continue to farm the way that he can and the only way he knows how. And Luciano will eat his Enigma. Stuff. I don't know. Yanwell clicking away on K, you know, only the highest base damage in the game, but with zero armor. Them. Why would I be able to report them? Clarity interrupted in the top. Poor Enigma. Now he's got to pop another Clarity. Just for it to be tossed? No, tree grab. Right, that's... Why wouldn't I do that? <laughs> why, why wouldn't that be the spec there? So, at this point, guys, I've seen a lot of tree ants go for a really weird damage build. AA pausing out again. Are you lost? Oh, come on, broken PC. Okay, so, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people like to go for these Nature's Guy specs early now, but uh, it doesn't increase its damage. It just decreases the fade time and increases the root duration by, like, 0.6 each level. It's okay, but it's not, like, it's not, it's not great. It's not great. Buyback status? Why would you want buyback status underneath the five minute mark?
Why do you guys do this to me? Now they're talking in a different way. Oh, man. There's the BM tips coming out already. You get it in your dream, able to tip 200. You guys are having too much fun with it, guys. Let's see. So, <laughs> rip my immersion! Let's see. No, I can't say that I love you because uh because one of the one of the C admins will get angry. If I do. I don't know why. Okay. Okay guys. They they've reconnected. They reconnected. Maybe we can play now. <laughs> Oh man! All right, let's get this show a rolling here. Why did, he didn't have a broken computer when we first started playing? <laughs> Game number one, this computer seemed fine. Throw that tree! Interrupt the clarity! Throw that tree! Interrupt the clarity! Throw the tree! Interrupt the clarity! Yanwell getting first blood and bottom because I've been completely oblivious to what's been happening. Broken PC, broken keyboard, just broken everything. Why not, guys? Lift out onto Bryant in the mid. It'll be okay, though. Oh, my mic just went echo on me. Ew. 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 Ah! It's doing it still. Luciano getting chased down by KYXY. Just having a great time. And now we have 458 TPing to the bottom. This is, this is actually it. It's core CM. I'm ready for this. Are we gonna have a Dagon CM? Let's do a Dagon CM. If they win, I'm gonna cry. Oh, that damage reduction. Down to 35 right click damage. So it's a dual lane mid. And. Oh, you know why? Hang on. There you go, guys. Mike's in a different spot now. Yeah, there we go. That changed it a lot. Let's turn it that way a little bit. Let's start nudging my mic around a lot just so, uh... Can I shut them? I don't know if I could shut them. And I, I think I deserve it, you know? I think I deserve getting BM'd by something that I do all the time. Luciano. Oh, they're trying to get the kill on him. He throws the tree in 458. Actually, he's going to get turned around by Yan. Well, he's going to die just barely. Yeah, the Leech Seed damage will do the trick. That's a level 2 Leech Seed, actually. It definitely will do the trick. Naj, no. I don't think he realized he was he was getting cold feeded. And the, uh, the Rubik has gotten to stacking at this point. We're about 18p back in. Zephyr trying to confirm something. X marks is gonna be there. Out goes the torrent, but since he's dead, he can't do it. They're like, oh, there's a ward in the mid now, Bryant. Making sure he can't get the top rune. He has no mana to do anything, and uh, I don't think he would have mana to do ball lightning because he's not even actually at target. <laughs> I can't believe what we're seeing. Najno will go down to in your dream. What just happened indeed? Well, actually, we know exactly what just happened. Okay. I was looking at this like it was a normal. Why would I ch cheat on you? What? No, Calvin, there's a thing, alright? There's a thing. Remember, remember Bella got all defensive when it was like... Trying to fight you for me. Anyway, they do get the kill out on top. They re-rotate Zephyr yet again with KYXY. I, I really want to see how this uh, this core uh, this core maiden's actually gonna go here. Be a first item dominator for Enigma, so it's not gonna be the greedy build that I like to run on my Enigma. 
Torrent goes out. Looks like it's just to scout if anyone's going to be at the bounty room back in bot. Ganwell, slow, is going to be out on 458. Does have stun if he wants to turn it around, but there's actually three heroes in the bot. So uh, he's not getting out. Toss will go down, and he goes down too. Four to two, actually. It's uh, not going too bad so far. Torrent goes out. Aiden has Q, I believe. Yeah, we'll just throw that bad boy down. You know, it's funny because they made a mana nerf for Skyrath to be bad, and they didn't change it. And then they mana nerfed Crystal Maiden by an extra 30 mana at 1. And it's still not going to change it. And there goes Tino. X marks the spot, man. I don't know, guys. I mean, there's the chance that Anti-Mage will actually turn this thing around and become an actual force to be reckoned with. Like, what? Oh, my goodness, that's a big stack. Broken by the courier, I believe, though. There's a chance that TNC could actually take this game and, and not have their game be absolutely uh, demolished. I guess what I'm saying is, is that there's a chance that 458 with this really clowny draft can actually finish the, and take this game. Although I think they're, I don't think they're trying to throw with this. I think this is a, a semi-normal draft, just not normal enough to feel strong. Hanging out heroes in the mid, so nothing really happening here though. It's gonna go for stat boots first into the battle fury. Went for the ring of health first, so just gonna maintain any sort of lane status. Kyxy level five. It's just having to rotate nearly all the time. It's gonna be face boots crystal maiden. So he's actually gonna go. This is this is a Crystal Maiden build where we're gonna see the 250 health, the 150 GPM, which is what you get as the support one anyway. Storm Spirit. Good for the torrent. There's the torrents, and the damage will be there to follow up Zephyr though, and the HP will go now to Rubik. But uh, 355 to the uh, no, it's not CM Zephyr. <laughs> Believe it or not. Believe it is. Wait, where is Zephyr? Yeah, Zephyr's King Gun. I'll just imagine it's a support anti-mage. But a core maiden. Tino getting clicked on in the bot. Drops the uh, CM ultimate as well. And Tino, with uh, zero ways of escape, will be killed by KYXY. So the question is, like, what kind of build do you go as a core crystal maiden? Do you go for... Like, what, what exactly do you go for here? Do you go for, like, attack speed, or do you build Nagon Scepter? 458 looking for the uh, beginning game chrono, but drops the avalanche, so it will be interrupted immediately. But I don't think that'll be a problem. No, it will be, apparently. No levels in Midnight Pulse. Come on, you at least get a value point in MP. Torrent goes down immediately out on the Tino, but Zephyr is not going to be able to get out of this one. No boat available either. He's going down. 458 is going to be spotted out by Nando. Toss goes out. Three, uh, eight. Spare tree, not a three tree. Goes out as well. Nando with no mana, but DD rune plus a bottle with at least a couple charges in it, but looks like it's not going to be enough. Nando going down to Brian. It'll be Crystal Maiden drums, so it looks like it's going to be a physical damage esque Crystal Maiden. But uh, you know what? You never know, man. You never know. I still want to think this is a build an Aghanim Scepter Crystal Maiden. Like, I think Aghanim Scepter Crystal Maiden might actually be uh, the play here, but you'd have to get BKB first. Oh no, it's not pick CM, it's auto loss. There's a, there's a couple of other heroes out there that are pick hero get auto loss. I feel like right now, pick Rubik isn't a very big auto loss right now. Because uh, Rubik offers no lane potential. He hits W and then Q. And the, I mean, what's that going to do? Lift actually is such a terrible stun early. It's only 1.1 seconds of lift. And everything around the lift drop is one second stun. Like, it does nothing. Fade Bolt does like no damage early too. It's only 160 at 2. And only does 8% uh, damage reduck. Or uh, jump reduction. It reduces by 8% based on every jump. So it's really weak. 
X Mark goes out on the Tino. They drop the boats. The boat will land. Or the shark in this scenario. In this room, pinged out on the bottom though. They know that Kunka has nothing. The torrent goes, it lands on two, but it's not gonna change much now. There's no still has mana if he needs to but will turn this around the vote giving him the rum though it is ticking wave hp slowly but they will get tino at least on that one kyxy looking for one more they don't even really be able to find the tree he was he was gonna try and go invis here back in the mid though they're looking out on the am they do have a lift available and nasno though in your dream what are you doing he goes and kills shakes and breaks out of there it's like yeah no i'm i don't have to deal with you i'm i'm in your dream man Looking to get himself denied, though. He's not going to find it. Didn't have wand charges available. Will be stunned up by Brian. No, he won't, actually. Cold Feet will not land. 458 hanging on the side of Yanwell here. Breaks all the trees on the low ground. They do see the TP in from the Rubik's. Black Hole is available. They take the Malediction. Oh, no, they take Midnight Pulse. Malediction is cute. Yeah, they drop the CM ult immediately. Yanwell is indefinitely going down. Shanks might be as well. They don't have any other heroes in the AO. Looking for a lift. But, uh, oh no, eats the last bit of the damage. No, that's actually cute. Never mind. One more right click, they get the kill. Frost Meanwhile, though, Luciano will go ahead and get the tower up in the top lane. But again, my question is how are we going to do this Crystal Maiden carry? Right click or Ags? I want to see Ags because Ags is definitely like stronger late game holding. But I think the AM is supposed to be the late game holding hero here. KYXY gonna try and up. All of his own. All of his own. Oh, crap, net worth. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. I'm so busy caught up in the is this hero actually going to do what it says it's gonna do kind of scenario. Pick rates. Oh no, Necro. AA Blast goes through, it won't land, but uh, KYXY is still nearby, pops the drums to get the right clicks out, Tino, with no Q, no W, no ult, he's going down to in your dream. It looks like 9 and 11, the first 10 kills go to TNC. Enigma Illusions hanging out. That is true, if, Ru if Rubik steals the best ult available on TNC, then they could win. Uh, if they don't, then they don't. Anyway, at the top of the net worth, as, uh, you know, most games usually are when it comes to an AM, he's at the top of the net worth. 5.8. He's getting scouted out by the Dream Protector, though. It really matter. Uh, then we have the Lightning Boy himself. Looks like they will be able to blink out. Yeah, well, it's not going to scout anything out. They want to get a kill, though. They're bringing in this fake Enigma. X Mark goes out on Luciano. Ball goes through and lands, but the boat might be late. No, they get the torrent. The boat falls, too, as well. Stun, though. Lift out onto uh, In Your Dream. But like I said, what's it going to do at level 1? Courier. Oh, fortification will save it for the time being. Or how long is the time being is the question here. Root goes out. Crystal Maiden ultimate black hole. This is what we want to see right here. And KYXY getting a double kill with a beautiful CM ultimate. X marks the spot, brings them back in, and Zephyr will get that easy kill. Guys, what's gonna what's going on this game? What's going on? The CM is actually the CM core is actually doing stuff. This is weird. This is weird. SGD. I mean, it's just, how are they gonna... I don't know. There's definitely ways to recover this, but the CM is above the net worth of the Tiny. The Tiny with just a Blink Dagger. The Crystal Maiden has a 5.8k and is gonna go for a Blink Dagger next. This is gonna be the Aghanim Scepter Blink, or the Aghanim Scepter CM. Because it'll probably the current level of Frostbite, and then do we have a Frostbite damage talent, or is it just Freezing Field? It's just Freezing Field, but you definitely go for the attack speed. It's Frostbite Duration over Crystal Nova damage. So Aghanim Scepter, I don't remember what it does. I think it's after two seconds that applies whatever level of Frostbite you have. And I think if you time it right, Hero duration is 3 seconds, had a 6 second cooldown. Toss out onto the AA, Bryant's 100% going down here, Luciano likely not going to get ticked off though. So, I mean, the big thing here is, is that like... 
you know, looking to get the jump on some Enigma. But uh, he's just going to only get the Eidolon here. Actually, hardly even gets the Eidolon. That Veil's not doing any work. How? What's going on here? What? No! You never go the 10 strength. You always go the 40 damage. The 10 strength is terrible. I mean, sure, it gives them more HP, but like that 10 strength, that that's 40 damage. That is so much damage. That's what Kunkka gets. You think Kunkka would ever go the sixth armor? Gosh, even supports go for the 40 damage. I don't know. I think sometimes they go for the sixth armor, but 10 strength over 40 damage. Sorry, Luciano getting a kill on Brian again, but I can't get over the 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 not getting the the, the, the damage. Luciano does manage to go down to kill Xy. The core maiden dream protector hanging around level six. They didn't know he was there. But uh crap, what was I talking about again? It was only 40 damage. It is 40 damage, but the Kuka's also 40 damage, so. Kuka's going down though in the mid, they have a three-man rotation. Oops, did I say 1437? Oops. I thought I said 458. Oh, you know what? I think I did say 1437 one time. Blink level 3. <laughs> Blink level 3. First level play. Guys, the CM is above the, the net worth of the Storm Spirit, of whom is above the net worth of Necro and above the Tiny. And underneath all of that is Black Hole Boy himself, Enigma. I might have said 1437 on accident instead of 458. Smoke going out on the back lines here. It's not going to be scouted out, so it looks like they're going to go ahead and sweep through the back. But Zephyr going to break the smoke of Shanks. Now they're going to counter break the smoke. KYXY coming in. The lift has been used. The Necro ult expended. It will be one dead Tino at the or one dead Zephyr at the end of the day. And uh, KYXY with no real immediate way of escape here is going to be clicked down. Out goes the frostbite. Luciano will get the kill with the toss. Don't know what happened to that gank squad there. Four five eight gonna get caught out by the storm spirit he is 150 gold away from that blink so rippity do rippity day there goes your happiness today i don't think that was a rhyme oh well battle fury up and running on the am he's actually had it so he's calling in something from the courier first there's the asha Ooh, i like you i like you a lot in your dream blink available at this point, I really would have suggested blinking into the trees. But I think he's just going to click this cannon a little bit and then blink on out of there. But uh, again, Tiny is still hunting for him. Yeah, it looks like they're done hunting. What are the chances, guys? Now the CM is no longer tied on the network. I say that, though, the AA blast goes through and KYXY gets the kill. Caster, are you Harold? Are you Harold, buddy? I'm ready for this, guys. BKB is going to be next on that Crystal Maiden. So the only thing that's going to break it is Toss, I believe. Because Toss... Well, Toss and Root. Yeah, Toss pierces spell immunity. So Toss will do it. Nature's Geist plus Ult will do it. Uh, there's actually a couple things that will still do it. Necro Ult will still do it. It doesn't, it doesn't, like, kill, but it'll just do the clicks, basically. It'll still have the stun effect. It just won't deal damage. That's the big thing, though, is, to, is the stun. But, uh, guys, AM. That's the big thing, is that, like, this Crystal Maiden might be carrying some money on his on her pocket, pardon. But we still got the AM running pretty good. Root not gonna land. KYXY drops the stun. The AA blast goes through. Lands on Yan well, but that's just it. Black hole! On one! Black hole stolen! Shanks has got black hole! They could turn this around, but they're not going to. They're afraid of that black hole on Shanks, though. They want to kill that. They want to kill the Rubik. They're even pinging out the Rubik. He's like, he's got black hole, guys. He needs to die. Indra Dream comes in. The black hole is available. Oh, he drops it, but he's broken immediately by the Kudka. Link goes out. They're looking for one more. Enigma can't find anybody. They're looking for anyone and any anything at this point. Tower goes down by 458. 
In your dream, caught out though, is gonna be able to just barely get away there. Necro ult was available too, so that could have killed him no problem. So, what if TNC, what do you mean what if TNC win? Of course, they have a chance of winning. I mean, I mean, I'm still really concerned about the whole core maiden thing, but uh, BKB is almost up, so uh, that's gonna be a big change. That'll be Crystal Maiden as a heavy core maiden. Savage. Yeah, savage indeed. Savage indeed. Let's go to the top from the bottom here. Rubik is going to go for the Blink Dagger, has the urn. Eventually the Spirit Vessel silenced. Silence eventually going to go out for the Storm Spirit Necro. Blink Dagger with a Pipe and Veil of Discord. Tree. No ultimate available though. They're trying to get the return kill on 458. They want some way of stunning and they do find the way of stunning. Tree will go down. They do manage to steal CM ultimate, but... Uh, I don't think they really have a lot of... No, they actually, they have tree ult. Enigmalons. Enigmalons. Eidolons. Yeah, not going to really do much there. Actually, that's a 100 cooldown. It's not that bad. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Anyway, let's uh, let's go from what I was doing. So top to bottom, right? So we did Necro. We're looking at Tiny. He's going to go for a Shadow Blade next. Necro, by the way, getting jumped on by 458. Is gonna throw the pipe down. X marks goes out the boat as well. AA blast goes through. It will not Radiant's land on the inch. Literally an inch. They ping out the tree and protector. They see him on the low ground. Bryant drops the sentry immediately, and they know Radiant's that. They break all the trees, and then they pop reveal, and the reveal does not land, but they still broke all the trees. They're like, there's a ward on that hill. Uh, well, I mean, they're going to be surely disappointed when the ward is not on the hill. Rubik doesn't even have sentries, so I think that's just tree, right? Yeah, tree's falling in the sentries. I'm ready to see that they're just going to get the sentry here. Ooh, no, they got both. Okay. Call that bad boy up. Back in the mid. Ooh, they do get the... No, they don't get the AA blast on Tiny. Yes, I know, you guys are all surprised at me saying black hole, and then nothing happened, so whatever, man. Okay, let's see. How are you doing in your dream? Aghanim Scepter. So what is that going to do? Let's look at Aghanim Scepter things. That'll be... That'll be Lift. That'll be Fade Bolt. It'll technically be Spell Steal. Uh, that'll be Storm Spirit W. That'll be Silence from the Storm Spirit. Necro Ult. Uh, tiny. I don't think that is anything. I, no, actually, it's Toss Tree. If he throws it at him. And then Tree would be Leech Seed. So, Aghanim Scepter is not a bad pickup, actually. I really do like this, uh, this pickup. Indefinitely. There's a lot of good things for this. Maybe not for the Spell Steal, obviously. Because, uh, what, what is he gonna do with the spell that he can't use? Smoke on the mid-ground outside of the Roshan pit. Maybe they were thinking they were going to go in the Roshan. Luciano can totally do it. But it looks like they're going to go ahead and rotate elsewhere. Luciano up on the high ground. In your dream is going to be the initial spot here. Shadow Blade's still not up for Tiny. And they do manage to break the smoke on Luciano. I want to think that they know. KYXY does know. Storm Spirit on the back lines. They get the root. The AA blast goes through. Luciano losing almost all of his HP. Yanuel just waiting in the back line to try and get the counter black hole, but they get the black hole, and the boat goes through, and the CM ult drops. Bakhmatog will go down. Tino. Ooh, gosh. Oh, what? Oh, X mark. So that scared me. Anyway, it looks like Tino is going down as well. So that's four dead with that beautiful three-man black hole. Basically four at this point. That, that X marks was literally on point. Let's go ahead and jump to the fight recap here as we see the storm losing a lot of mana. Nope. Here's the uh, fight recap. As you can see, Black Hole, you actually got the Midnight Pulse off beforehand too, so definitely did a lot of damage. But the, the big thing is the AA Ice Blast. I believe he's level two as well in the ult, so. Yeah, that dealt the damage. That dealt the damage. BKB Blink onto the low ground as well, and it looks like Storm st Finally finished the silence. But at what cost? A, the Axe for Anti-Mage, almost done. Yep, 
Yeah, this Ags is actually going to be huge. The question is, do you go for... I mean, he went for the Blink cast range, so I imagine he's going to go for Blink uh, cooldown. Radiance middle tower is under attack. I feel like Blink cooldown is definitely the play now. I don't think Blink Illusion really does much. Tis mine. Tree. He's going to spot 458. Crystal Maiden goes down, actually, to everybody. But the A. The NC Mage just removes the Storm Spirit HP. Both go out. AA Blast will confirm as Zephyr gets the last hit on him. Three in the mid now, though. They are, they are freaking out. They're like, okay, what's going on? What do we do here? I really like this vision word, actually. I don't know where it came from, but it looks pretty cute. It looks cute. That's like... It's usually not a word you think about. Cute. Oh, the HP regen for Eidolons went up. That 4 HP regen does not seem like it gets that... Oh, that's 11, actually. Damn. Oh, because Dominator, right. Uh, if 4, 5, 8, they're like... They broke all the trees. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, man. All right, it looks like Yanwell. The only one that can save their tower here. There goes the Lincoln's reveal, and Shanks It's like, well, what do I do now? X marks, tries to blink away. Did he use blink? He used blink. Okay, he blinked away, then... No, that was the blink. I'm dumb. They do manage to get the AA on the back lines, though. Back lines, actually. What is he doing all the way over there? Zephyr at no HP. AA goes through the boat. Actually lands out on Tino. He's just still chilling there for it, so... Of course, CM, what you doing, baby? Gonna go for the Lincoln Sphere. I feel like, uh... I feel like... BK, no, yeah, Lincoln Sphere is correct, because uh, that will be, it doesn't break Toss, it does break Silence if he needs to, it will, it will definitely break Seepers, Reapers, Jeepers, Reapers, Scythe, KYXY does not want to be there, he's like, oh, okay, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, Luciano's like, yeah, you don't get to get out of here, and then the CMO goes down. It, it goes to work slowly in the 4 5 eight double black hole goes through and the AM ult as well. Tino removed from the game and Yan well hanging out on the side here though. East Storm does try to go in and has no mana. KYX so I can turn this around. Nasno, no soaring. There's the tip. He was looking for the tip and they get the kill out on Nasno. What is that? What was that about? Yes, exactly. Bok Bok indeed. DJ, uh, the Noel Field Aura is going to be spotted out on the AM, but they're not going to go for the kill on him. They actually can go for the kill on him. They break the Lincolns, but that will just go ahead and beat the W there, and Shanks will go ahead and take the blink. They're going to go ahead and clean up this Pushan. What's going on here? TNC with this core Crystal Maiden. KYXY. What a scary boy. He's above the net worth of the Enigma. He's above the net worth. He has the GPM. He's got the 250 attack speed. He needs physical damage now. This is where you buy the Divine, right? You just sell everything, buy Divine. Three easy four a <laughs> three easy five a.m. What? <laughs> That's a good joke there. And it looks like what is this supposed to be? A Vanguard? It will be a Vanguard. Oh yeah, because of this will bleed. KYXY gets the slow stun. Rubik, X marked up. Will be stunned. Oh, just manages to get the blink out at the last second. AAO goes through, won't land on anybody in your dream, trying to look for a target. 458. Blinking in though. Storm Spirit coming in, trying to kill off. Well, there goes Shanks. No buyback available. Lock Matog. Thrown out there and hope. Oh, good grief. Shanks dropping the BM tip. I say it's BM. I really don't think it is. That tower is going down. Luciano, the only one that can maybe do something here, and the tree is not in position. So this uh, this tower are definitely going down, and these racks possibly tossing back the Kunka. It's the only one they know they could go for, and and even then they they can't go for the Kunka. They get the BKB out from the CM. The clicks are going out. The 250 right click attack speed going for the hundred. What is this? A hundred and. 68 damage. They are, they just won. TNC won. TNC just won. AA Blast going through. Black Hole available. They get the silence on the AA. And on, the, uh, on the AA. I can't believe what we're seeing. SGD drop 